we want to find the circumference of this circle on the left side. And you know how to do that. That's a, I don't know, sixth, seventh grade skill. It requires you to know that circumference is equal to 2 pi r. And we're going to plug in the radius. It gives us the radius. So I got circumference is 2 pi times 4. And I would punch that in my calculator. I would get 8 pi. And I'd push the magic arrows. And it would give me 25.13. That would be in inches. So circumference, that's the distance all the way around the circle. It would be like the length of the entire pizza crust. Okay, um, I want you to leave your answer in terms of pi and as a decimal. Okay, so I want to see both of those. Find the length of an arc is a little bit different. Uh, previously, we've talked that an arc is a fraction of the circumference. Okay, so when it says find the length of the arc, I'm guessing we're talking about arc AB here. So if we want to find the length of that arc, it's a fraction of the whole entire circumference. So if I have the circumference is 2 pi r, which is 2 pi times 4, and I only want a fraction of that, I need to know what fraction I'm going to write. Well, how many total degrees are in a circle? 360. And how many degrees of that whole circle are we looking for? Just 60. So then I would take all that, punch it into my calculator, and it would give me 4 pi over 3. Magic arrows, and it would be 4.18, and that is inches as well. Okay, let's look at the next one. So we're going to find the length of these arcs. On the left-hand side one, it's very specific in that it wants you to find the major arc. So if I'm looking for the major arc, major arcs are greater than half the circle. They're bigger than 180 degrees. So 40 degrees is not bigger than half the circle. It's not bigger than 180 degrees. So I need to figure out what that is. So I'll say 360 minus the 40 degrees will tell me what the rest of it is. And that's 320 degrees. Okay, 320 degrees. So that's the degree I'm going to use. I'm looking for the length of an arc. That means I'm going to do 2 pi r, circumference formula, 2 pi r times 320 out of 360. I'd punch that into my calculator, and it would give me 80 pi over 3 inch, or centimeters in this case, and that is 83.97. Be careful when you get an assignment, whether it's online or whether it's on a test or a quiz that says, you know, where do I round my answer to? You know, if that said round to the nearest whole number, you'd write 84, but I wrote 8397. Next one, find the length of the minor arc. When I look up there, I'm looking for a degree that's less than 180 or less than half the circle. 120 is a minor arc, so I'm going to use the 120. So I'm going to say 2 pi. R is 2 in this case, times... 120 out of 360. Punch it in my calculator. I get 4 pi over 3. And I could write that as 4 pi over 3 meters. Or that would be 4.18 meters. Next, let's look at some area. So I know how to find the area of a circle. The one on the left side is really basic, straightforward. I've got area is pi r squared. That's the formula that I learned back in middle school that I'm going to need to know to be successful with this stuff. Luckily, it already gives me my radius. So I'm going to say pi times 4 squared. That's 16 pi. That would be inches squared because it's area. Then I push the magic arrows, it would be 50.26 inches squared. 50.26 inches squared. Either one of those. Sometimes they'll ask you for your answer in terms of pi. Sometimes they'll ask you as a decimal.
find the area of the sector. So same kind of logic as this one on the right side. I only want a fraction of the circle. So I want a fraction of the area. So I'm going to use the pi r squared formula. But I, what I just wrote is the area of the whole circle. I don't want the whole circle. I want a fraction of the circle. So we're going to write another fraction. The whole circle will be 360 degrees. And once again, I only want 60 degrees of that. And when I punch out on my calculator, I get 8 pi over 3 square inches. Or you could push your magic arrows and get 8.37 square inches. Next, find the area of the shaded sector. Well, when I look at the one on the left, the 130 degrees is not shaded. So that means I have to figure out what this degree is over here. I'm going to say 360 minus the 130. That would be 230 degrees. So I'm going to say pi r is 3 in this case squared times 230 out of 360. That gives me 23 pi over 4 square feet. Magic arrows, 1806 square feet. On the one on the right, two things to notice. First thing I'm noticing is that there is no degrees. Well, it looks like it's a diameter, so it looks like we're going to use 180 degrees. Okay, that's the first thing. Second thing is that this 2.5 inches is written in the middle like that. Therefore, it's the diameter. If that 2.5 inches was written like over here, then that would imply that they're just talking about the radius. But it's written in the middle, and that's implying that it's talking about the diameter. So when I write pi r squared times my fraction, so I got pi r squared times, we said it was going to be 180 out of 360. I'm not going to put 2.5 because that's the diameter. I need the radius. So I'm going to say 2.5 divided by 2. That's 1.25. So I'm going to punch that in as my radius. And normally when you have a decimal, I don't say normally, a lot, most of the time when you have a decimal as your radius, your calculator will give you a decimal as an answer. So when I get an answer, it said 2.45 square inches. But you can push the magic arrows and it'll send you back to terms of pi. So I got 25 pi over 32 square inches.